Gemini, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, Gemini, I have been meditating on this. And the word that came to my mind was slowly. And I feel like I've got to take a big old breath. Slow down. Slowly. Don't rush this. I've got a feeling like you're in flight, fight or, I can't even get my words at fight, fight or flight mode. Like, it feels like a big, large person is sitting on your chest and you can't breathe. <sighs> Slowly. Okay, so let's take a deep breath. Okay. Let's get you the help you need. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, Take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. I only book private readings via my website. You have to come to the website to book a reading with me if you want a legit one. If I'm like there in the comments below or up in your DMs, it's not me. It's somebody pretending to be me. You're being scammed, okay? You have to come to my website, gentvterra.com, if you want a reading. Okie dokie. Slowly. This is the word of the day for Gemini. You're feeling... Okay, jeez, whoa. <laughs> Let's get all the cards out, but you're feeling pretty insecure right now. Um, we've got the five of ones, a lot of conflict around you. Challenges. It looks all right. It looks all right. There's nothing horrid in here. There's actually not a single horrible card apart from the vibe, which is, you know, five of ones isn't great, but that's just the vibe. That's, that's the cause of it is there are a lot of conflicts around you right now. You're feeling it emotionally insecure. There are a lot of challenges at the moment. So tell me more about this seven of wands. What are the challenges that you're facing? This is good. I like it. Why are you freaking out? You stepped out of your comfort zone. It's it's freaking you out. You feel like you can't breathe. You stepped out of your comfort zone and you, you did something that you're not used to doing. You spoke about your feelings. I can feel how difficult this was for you. Your mouth's all dry. Heart's racing, but it, it feels like you can't get your air in. But you felt like you had to. You felt like you had to do this. You didn't have a choice. They might... They might leave. Um, it, it sort of feels like there are a lot of obstacles in the way, and that's why, also, you felt like they might leave, you felt like you might lose this person because of these obstacles, you felt like if you don't express yourself, and you've never really been this, if you've been this vulnerable before, you learnt your damn lesson, you're not going to do it again. That's, that's where you were, and now you're like, Ugh, this is important. I have to, I have to bear my soul. I really hold some crystals here. I'm really picking up your energy intensely. I even got the dry mouth, wow. I 
anything else? Okay. Mmm. Almost a Capricorn. Gemini. What have we got Capricorn wise? Uh, what is it? I've got quite a lot of earth signs actually. Capricorn, eh? So what's this Capricorn? Anything else Gemini needs to know right now? You're okay. It's all right. You've done what you had to do. The worst is over. Trouble is, I feel like you're in fight or flight because... You didn't get the reaction that you needed. You needed them to tell you it was going to be all right. You needed them to tell you that the obstacles didn't matter. that you didn't need to worry that everything was going to be okay and they weren't going but you didn't get that did you now you're freaking out because you bare your soul so <laughs> it's okay I've, I've got to and it didn't help and now you're kind of thinking Did I imagine that they felt the same way? Was it was it all in my head? Not by the looks of things here. What's coming up in the near future? We've got the Two of Cups. Mm. Why is that here? You don't have any answers right now, so you're freaking out. Yeah, you're good. I take it slowly now, okay? You did what you had to do. You gotta slow down, you gotta breathe. You gotta know that getting out of your comfort zone is the good thing, the right thing to do. It wasn't all in your head. We've got the Ten of Cups, we've got the Two of Cups. And the stress, the uh, conflicts that you're having, those aren't anything to worry about. It's happiness coming up. Contentment, happiness, the best you can hope for. We've got Ace of Cups. This is a good reading. Oh, I love this card so much. My favourite card in this deck. It looks like my daughter Zuni. Even got her vibe, you know. She's fearless and she's the most beautiful soul I've ever known and like you can just kind of see it all there she's, she's just this is what you did you know you stepped out of your comfort zone and you made yourself vulnerable and you opened yourself up even though the wave was going to take you away you did it anyway right and it's good you did it And that's you. In the face of adversity and terror, you still did what you had to do. And it was the right thing. And you're not going to let that wave take you down. Even if it breaks your heart. Which it isn't. Was this saying like, you know, when, when it comes to karma and that what goes around comes around, that goes the same for good stuff. It's not just for the bad things. So when you do something good, 
there's consequences in a good way okay so you did what you had to do you opened your heart you were vulnerable and so now there's going to be consequences in a good way because there aren't any bad cards here this is good um I'm going to read this outcome here because it's a bit odd compared to the rest of the reading. I've got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Just want to kind of take a look at this outcome. Why is this Queen of Swords in reverse? I sort of feel like it's about... you stepping out of your comfort zone and, and that was your boundaries those were your boundaries that you weren't willing to cross and then you kind of had to tell me more about this outcome it does sort of feel like you didn't want to have to let those walls down. That's uh, that's been very difficult for you. Very uncomfortable. Where's my? There we go. Sorry, I'm losing my illumination. You didn't want to have to go there again in your life to be that vulnerable. You just can't, can't it just be easier? Does it have to be so, you know, does there have to be conflict? Does, you know, but you've opened up and you revealed that warm, squishy, lovely side of you that's, you know, all, all soft and lovely inside. And because you did that, even though you didn't want to, you know, you'd set your boundaries really high. And you let this person in and you're going to get, you're going to get your um, six of one. I couldn't think of the word ones then. You're going to get your six of one. It's a, I, I, if you've been watching me for a while, ones for some reason is a word that always, it's just baffles me. Look, it even says it on there. I couldn't get my mouth around it for some reason. It even says it's on the card. So you're going to get your victory. You're going to get what you want. And a happy ending. You just had to step out of your comfort zone. And it's been difficult. So slow down. Breathe. Everything's going to be fine. Let's pull you a few more cards. We've got religious factors here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Please let me, give me some insight on, on that in the uh, comments below. What's going on there? And then we've got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. There's something about the religious side of things that perhaps might have been one of the problems. One of the things that, the obstacles that was in the way that you had to get past. One of the... Uh, I kind of want to say things that uh, was a disagreement. One of the conflicts was that. If it's coming up, let me know. But you opened up and you're past it. So let's pull you a couple more. Luck is on your side. 
good. And your love lyric for the day is Love Bites. Sure does. By Def Leppard. I don't want to be there when you decide to break it. Love Bites. Love Bites. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. I'll see you guys later.